Hey Dragons, it's Paige here with your weekly Thunder Index, where we discuss all things science, storms, stars, and sustainability. Per usual, let's head into this next week of weather. We had quite the snowstorm this past weekend, didn't we? It's going to remain cold this week, with the highs reaching about 41 degrees and the lows reaching 11 degrees. There will be a mix of precipitation this following week, with some rain during the week and some snow possibly this weekend. Watch out as the rain may turn into ice as frigid temperatures are to follow. And if you missed out on Groundhog's Day, Phil the Groundhog predicted six more weeks of winter. If this week sets the precedent for the month, it looks like we will for sure have a snowy, blowy February. Now moving up in the sky and into the stars, let's recap on the last week of astrology and what it means for you. Last Thursday afternoon, the moon is full when the sun in Aquarius opposes a full moon in Leo. The full moon is a time of culmination and promise of fulfillment. It is an emotional time, a time of romance and relationships. This Leo-Aquarius polarity deals with all that is impersonal in Leo and personal in Aquarius. The energy of the Leo full moon is creative self-expression and a boost to the individual ego. This full moon urges us to strike a balance between friendships and relationships, as well as expressing ourselves in personal and impersonal ways. This full moon occurs when the sun aligns with Jupiter, lending us optimism and courage to pursue what's in our hearts. These new feelings and revelations are emotional ones. As you may notice, there is a sense of emotion bursting through our consciousness. It's time to express yourself and let things out of your system. Over the next coming weeks, you will definitely see what this means to you. But for now, we can't just sit on our feelings, we need to express them. Of course, we may want to exercise some care while doing so, knowing that these feelings may not particularly be rational yet. Now heading back down to Earth, let's check in on our dragons and the COVID numbers from the past week. Last week's numbers mark the first week of mandatory testing among in-person students, faculty, and all students living on campus. And I do have to say, amazing job, dragons. Last week, the week of January 24th, Drexel performed 3,370 tests, with only 34 coming back positive. This leaves us with only 1% of positive tests, which is the lowest amount of positive tests in Drexel's record. Now, this is most likely because a larger number of students were being tested, but let's keep those numbers down, dragons. As always, dragons, mask up and always contact Student Health Services at the number below should you feel sick or if you think you are exposed. The number is 215-220-4700. While we're here on Earth, let's talk about sustainability. Drexel Sustainability is hosting a seminar tonight from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. The Green Infrastructure, Climate, and City Seminar will feature hosts speaking on an environmental justice campaign located in North Brooklyn. This seminar, Environmental Justice in New York City Addressing Toxic Air in North Brooklyn, is the second of a three-part series on environmental justice in the Northeast. Head over to Drexel's Climate and Sustainability website to register for the Zoom meeting, and I'll see you there. While we're on the topic of going green, here is Paige's Plant of the Week, a new segment of our show. These featured plants are all sustainable indoor and outdoor plants that help keep our air clean. For our first ever plant of the week, we chose the dragon tree, otherwise known as the Dracaena marginata. With a leaf color that ranges from green to purple, this plant would be a gorgeous addition to your plants indoors or outdoors. It would also fit right in at the office as it can tolerate low amounts of light. And that concludes all of these storms, stars, and sustainability I have for you this week. It's always thundering in Philadelphia, dragons. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Hey there, it's Alex from the future, and I'm here to tell you if you subscribe to our channel right now, COVID-19 will be eradicated from the globe. Don't believe me? Go ahead, subscribe. You'll see.